And we're back for round four, game two. Sorry that some th sometimes things get a little bit away from us. Um, however, we get into offshoots of, uh, of conversations rather than talking about the actual game. So we'll try to concentrate a little more on the game itself. But the odd tangent is a bad thing, I believe. It's not a bad thing at all. As long as we're not missing super important stuff like the game finishing because of a superior board position that just happens in, in the book of an eye, really. Sometimes uh, in these modern games that can, that can really happen, that games are just over so quickly. It certainly happens more than stand. It's the fact that there's such a higher power level in the collection of cards that are modern playable. Mm. Now, we've got Tyler's uh, deck list here. What do you think he would have cited in right, this well, game, Lewis? I'm looking at the Anger of the Gods and the Engineered Explosives first off. I'm also looking at Core Firewalker. Um, I'm looking at the rest of his sideboard, which is Counterflux, Negate, Karanos, Wear and Tear, um, Electricery. I can see and Magma Spray, he's gonna, he's gonna, he might bring that in. Uh, but I don't think that's as big a priority as the other, as uh, the first cards that I listed. So we're looking at... And he's also got a spell sky, which he might bring in as well. For the burn? Yeah, for the for the burn. And it's, it's a good blocker as well. Now that's a core cool firewalker, so he's definitely brought that in. And he's certainly picked one of the cards. So you're looking at three four core cool firewalker and anger of the gods and the engineered explosives at least. Taking out two Electrolyze. Taking out, yeah, probably taking out Electrolyze. Uh, taking out, um, probably Remand. Uh, I think he keeps his creatures in. And he is running the one Thundermore Hellkite, which is very, very interesting. I, I've been a fan of Thundermore Hellkite ever since I've seen, uh, ever since the card was spoiled. Uh, that was, uh, a very, a very uh, and I, I was very happy to see that it gets the, the occasional modern play in a deck like this. Um, it's, it's normally a one-off, but now it's, it's a good threat that is can surprise someone. After the Firewalker, he's come out with a a Geyser uh, Sentra. Yep, and also laid an Injuno Castle, which is a good card to play with Geyser Sentra. Hmm. And Matt sort of stalled on the one land here with the figure of destiny, and that's not doing much. No, and Tyler has uh, has decided to attack with his Geist of Centraft, getting him an angel for this combat, a four four flying angel attacking with it, and has decided to leave his core firewalker back on defense against the two two figure of destiny. Now, why do you not uh, block with your figure of destiny here? Uh, because uh, Tyler has his uh, untapped land, the, uh, the well, just trying the uh, Aijan, Aiganju Castle, which he can use to prevent two damage that will be dealt to target legendary creature this turn. Very nice, very nice. So if he blocks, he prevents the damage, saves his uh, Geist, and just kills the figure of destiny, which is currently a two-two, I believe. Sure. Alright, so Matt's down at 12 here. This, uh, Unless Matt does something, this game could be over very, very quickly. The problem Matt has is a lot of his removal is targeted. And the Geist... The Geist and the Core firework, Firewalker both can both dodge the removal. Uh, especially the burn from the part of the Firewalker. Now, that's a Vendillion click. So Tyler's trying to press home his advantage here. Now something that a lot of people don't realize, don't don't think about it with Vendillion Click is that's also a legendary creature. So the uh, the El I I Ganjo Castle. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that terribly. Or can also prevent two damage to Vendillion Click if 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 Tyler needs it. So looking at Matt's hand here, we've got a lightning bolt, two Nactals, and two Helix. Yeah. I'm not sure even with all of that he can uh, has a chance of racing no, Tyler I, with Tyler's board state. I think uh, unless I unless I missed something when I briefly looked away to check the computer, I don't think Tyler actually you removed anything from Matt's hand. He just kept it as is. Certainly because doesn't want Matt to draw into something that might be more useful than what he's currently got. Now it looks like Matt's using a lightning helix, I guess. I guess the Vendillion click. 
And, and we're Tyler has that. cast for a man winning him the game. And uh, Matt's extended the hand here, and that was nice and quick. Um, if you'd like either of those two deck lists, we have them both available as well. Uh, post comments on MTG Grinders in fact.